All right, we have someone in the house. Lola, are you ready for the hot seat? Hi. Hi. <laughs> Welcome. I love your smile. Thank you so much. Yes. All right, what do you got for me? Yeah, so I'm the one with the uh, reuniting um, <laughs> person. I'm Lola. Just, wait, wait, wait. Tell everybody what's going on. Yes. So I, um, this is a uh, police sergeant, and we had um, talked for some time, and we met up. And I think he likes me because I'm spunky and I don't take crap. You know, I'll okay. be nice. And what happened was, um, you know, like a lot of people here, I'm actually I'm 54. Okay. I'll, I'll be 54. And but um and we never want to go up. We always go down. I'm still, yes, 50, yes, I'm still 53. My, my birthday's coming. Um, okay. but um the thing is young children, and that's why um a lot of I, I had somebody ask me like a couple of questions, and he was like, you know, on the app, and he was like, Oh, uh, you have children, like three kids under the age of 10. And I said, yeah. And he just like swiped left on me, like okay. right then and there, you know, so it's like one of those situations. So I always say, well, no, really doctor. quickly, can I jump in for a second? Yes. So just keep in mind that some people don't want, especially in their fifties, don't want to be in parenting mode when whomever they're in relationship with. Yes. I've heard this from women who don't want to be with men who are raising children. I've heard this from men who are raising children. In addition, men oftentimes see children potentially as dependents. So some men may not have the financial <laughs> resources to, I mean, I'm just saying this is what might be going on in their mind. And it's a very valid reason to maybe not choose a person. I'm, there's nothing wrong with a person choosing what they want okay exactly and i i okay. actually tell them if, if he bothered to speak with me and say anything i would just say thank you for your honesty and i'd move it yeah. along that's fine yeah. and um I let's go had... back to the policeman though yeah so how okay when did you first connect with well okay, first off have you met him physically yes okay so when did you meet him yes uh we actually we we started speaking last year you started and, talk, by the way, is there distance involved? Yes. It's a long okay. distance relationship. So that's How another issue. Distance? Not too bad. It's about 45 minutes. And he oh, lives okay. near my family, actually. So okay. I thought that was a plus plus. So okay. Yeah. I I'm so, a, so I, he lived 45 minutes away. You started how long did you speak before you physically met each other? Um, we spoke, sorry. We spoke about um I would say about a month before we were able to. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah. So it wasn't that long. Okay. So good. It wasn't good, too good. bad. Um, and it was more on my insistence because I started accusing him of being a catfish. Cause okay. I really, I, I said, you know, th this doesn't even make sense to me. And, um, it, you know, if you're not going to meet me, then forget it. I, I you know, I, I'm going to move it along. And, you know, he said, oh, no, no, we'll, we'll meet. And, you know, we finally got to meeting. Um, and it was nice. We met at a bookstore a little, you know, because okay. we did the, uh, you know, Starbucks in the bookstore kind of thing. And, you know, we did that. Very cute. And um, it it was nice from there. And, you know, we liked each other. Okay. Very strong connection. And after that, we had planned to try to meet again. But, of course, you know, between work and stuff like that, nothing really connected. Okay. And I said, look, I, I can't do this breadcrumbing nonsense. So I just kind okay. of like ended it there. I actually had convinced him when we met. Um, he felt bad because he didn't get into a school that he wanted to go to. He was okay. he applied for a master's program. And um, and he's older than me. So in case you're wondering. How like, much older is he? Um, just a year. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, so not, not I, yeah, I, know. I was like, you're going to tell me he's 75, okay? So uh, he's, he's 55. Because okay? in the interim, I met another man who was about 10 years older than me. So, and uh, okay, you know, so yeah. what let's get let's get to your question. Yeah, so no, that that was the one that I was um asking before, you know. Um, he you know, anytime I ask him, like, what well, oh, what do you want or whatever, and he's like, oh, everything, and like oh, all this like nice romantic talk, the love bombing or whatever. And then, like that's why. Have I saw you two were? Have you two been physically intimate? No. And, okay. Um, 
And that's what I liked because I, you know, he had no reason to tell me he wanted everything or anything with me. And we're always talking and I felt that I inspired him. He just finished school this week and we were planning on dinner and, you know, okay. increasing the relationship another step, you know, like just meeting more and doing more stuff together. And okay. then now I feel like he's backing off and that's what bothers me. Okay. So let's try to get to a question so I can give you some coaching right now. Okay. Yes. So what is the, okay. Because you said to me, you felt like he was bride coming and you ended it, but then you contradicted yourself. Well, we made plans to do this and that. So, so. Oh, no, I'm sorry. When we reconnected now. Reconnected. Okay. Got yeah, it. Got we it, got reconnected it. now and okay. he graduated. Cause okay, when, got when it. How, how long school, ago, how long ago did you first meet him? A year ago. A year ago. Okay. Got it. Got it. Got it. Okay. So, so the question is, well, first off, do you know what he wants in the form of a relationship? That's why I asked him today. And that's when What's he that? said. Wait, you cut I, out. I, Say it again. Oh, I'm sorry. I asked him that today. Like, what okay. exactly is he looking for? Like a friendship, a partnership. And, and that's when he said, well, you know, I was married for um, 20 years and I got a divorce. And, but this didn't just happen. We already had this discussion. So I said, are you just trying to tell her one again? You know, like this is a discussion we had when we first met, you know, so, so that I was so annoyed with that. Okay. So why not say what you're looking for? See, now here's the challenge, Lola. A lot of women, this is what they say when I want a relationship. Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> like that's what it, that's what we men hear. Because you yeah. just, I mean, that's what it felt like, like to me. Yeah. yeah. Because you're just saying, I want a relationship. I want this, that. So what, if you've been watching my videos, which you have, right? I say, I'm looking for a relationship where we spend three or four days and nights a week together, doing shared activities, hobbies, mutual interests, spending time with family and friends, traveling together, teamwork, building skills, both in our personal, our professional life, intimacy, both physical and emotional intimacy that leads to either moving in together, getting married. To me, I, I don't think, I think that encompasses a healthy relationship for two people who live 45 minutes apart. They can easily see each other at least two, three, or four times a week, meaning you have sometimes in your own home, sometimes in another person's home, that sort of thing. You're doing social activities, hobbies, mutual interests. You're spending time with family and friends. You're traveling together. You're helping each other out from a from a professional capacity or even an emotional capacity. You have regular sex together and, and emotional intimacy with a game plan of either moving in together, getting married. If he says, I don't want that, then you don't need to entertain him anymore. Yeah. But I guess the question is, is that really what you want? No. You don't want what I just described. Yeah, so, I mean, no, I, I want I, I want the um, companionship the two to three times a week. Yes, that, and, and actually I did answer. No, no, no. So be, let me be clear. Sorry. Do you want a serious relationship? Just say yes or no. Yes. Okay. Now I'm. You pause there for a second. So what was that <laughs> pause? Yeah, I, I don't want it because he said, I don't want to rush into anything. I don't want a serious relationship. I don't want to, you know, so I, I that's why I was confused by his answer. What is this? I, I mean, what? okay, look it. Do you want to get to, like, it really, this is where I can't stand this, okay? Do you want to get to know me? Okay, do you want to get to know me? Do you want to explore a relationship together? Do you want to have sex with me? Like, these are questions. Do you want this? Okay. Because there's, there's no such thing to me. It's all about rushing in and let me explain why. Okay. <laughs> because this long drawn out version that people are experiencing is just another way of hooking up. I think mm -hmm. we should be rushing in to explore things together, getting to know one another, integrating into each other's lives, seeing if it works. Now, here's the tricky part. If they're a total stranger, I can understand a person's reservation, okay? Sure. But is he a total stranger? Not really. You've oh. been to, you've known him for a year, number one. Number two, he's a police officer, so you can go Google him, find out things about him. Yes. Um, you can find out if he has any, any complaints about him. You can go to the police station, find out a lot about him. Exactly. To get a sense of his character. But ultimately... People want to dip their toe. It's like 
I don't want to go swimming. I just want to dip my toe in the water, but I still want to have sex with you and all this. Like I'm a, I'm a believer. Two people should jump in, get to know each other and see if it works. And if it doesn't work, you get out just as quickly, but then you're not, you're not spending a year dragging it out. That's just what I believe. So the question really becomes, what do you want to do right now? Me? With respects to him. Yeah. Oh, uh, <laughs> after that, conversation, I didn't say, anything, and I didn't talk to him <laughs> the rest of the day. I don't know. <laughs> I, I'm so annoyed. I don't know. Gigi says, I think the cop had her as a placeholder. I don't think that's the case because you guys never got that deep. Okay. No, we, we didn't um, do anything. Yeah. Except for meet the one so, time and that's it. So here's my, okay. So I'm a believer shit or get off the pot. What's his, you know, what's his name? That's what I say. That's Michael. Michael. Michael, let me tell you where I'm at. I'm looking for a relationship that a yada, 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 yada. Okay. How does that land for you? If that's not what you want, then there's really no reason for us to continue. Yeah. And I'm going to wish you well and all the best. And here's the thing, Lola, you got to cut him off then. Yeah, I agree. Thank because, you. And you said you have another date lined up? Um, yeah, there's another, you know, actually, here's the weird thing. Since March, guys from like four years ago, there's like five guys that called me back. I don't know what's happening. All of you know what happens? The minute you have a boyfriend or girlfriend... Not you, but anyone has a boy. It's like all of a sudden it comes out of the woodwork. Yeah, because I, I said, ladies, don't put out. They all come back. <laughs> all, <laughs> the, all the zombies start coming back. You know, because I don't, you know, and you know how they say like the high value woman. And all? It's not even about that. It's just, you know, because they you don't let them use you, right? And they just, you no, know. You, you establish know. what you want and find out if you're on the same page. You learn yeah. about it, past relationships. You do the book Eight Dates by doctors John and Julie Gottman before the penis ever goes inside the vagina. And it never, you know, I, I said, I'm, I'm the walking like, uh, <laughs> nope, nope. <laughs> okay, good girl. Thanks. All right, sweetheart. Well, I appreciate you jumping on. Can I reach in the camera and give you a big, gigantic I need the bear big hug? hug? Thank you so much. All right. Sir. Thanks, Lola. Okay. Thank you. Good luck, everybody. Thank thanks. So we just shared a few minutes with Lola exploring what's happening in her love life right now. I think this is a perfect example of staying in your power. I think in addition, I think it would be important for her to, um, I think ladies early on in the dating process, establish what you want and see if you're on the same page. You know, when guys say they don't want to rush in, well, guess what? Then we're not going to have physical sex until you know you want to be in a committed relationship with someone. And I'd like some clarity as to what that means for you. I believe we should be rushing in, but that's a whole, by the way, I know it goes against the narrative out there. But what I mean to say is, you know, dating one person at a time isn't that big deal if you're spending regular time together. Getting to know each other investing in one another is that's what this is all about. And we can, a lot of people make excuses because their life is so busy. Then how serious are they? If you have such a busy life, you can't even entertain a relationship, then what's the point? You want just a hookup. You want a friends with benefits. Be crystal clear on what you want. And that's my invitation for everyone. Is this sinking in? I hope so. All right, really quickly, I saw some comments here. I want to address something. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, I want to address what Lighthouse said. Lighthouse said, J.A., some people don't care about them having kids. What I said was some people do care about younger kids in the household. I've spoken to so many women who don't want to date men who have younger children in the household. I've spoken to men who don't want that. I said the word some, not all. So I just want to clarify that, okay? Um, bum, 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 bum. Bum, bum. Let's keep going here. Oh my gosh, come on. Are there any questions? Oh, Annika's back in the house. Okay. How long after we meet online should we go on a date or should we talk on the phone first? 
you know, I'm a big, you see, here's the tricky part. I was just, I was just blogging about this. I want to read this with everybody. I was just blogging this. I was just writing a blog and I want to read it to everyone. Um, Dating today has its challenges because most people aren't meeting to court one another towards partnership. Dating is a process of getting to know a person who is often a stranger. Think about it. Most everyone is a stranger. And when meeting a potential love interest, we oftentimes have no clue as to their real intentions or more importantly, their emotional maturity and their relationship skills. This is why dating has replaced courting. Sure, it's a nice to fantasize about an old world courting dynamic because it seems romantic. However, several generations ago, almost everybody lived in villages or tribes where there was a solid base of familiarity and similarities with people who joined together romantically. As I've said earlier, these days we're meeting strangers and the unique problem to address for each other, or to, excuse me, there's a unique problems to address for each gender. For example, some women must determine if a man has a short-term mating strategy or a long-term mating strategy. This requires vetting on their part because men are often the gatekeepers of commitment. Men, on the other hand, often play the game of romance because women are usually the gatekeepers of sex. Since sex before commitment is so prevalent today, any man with basic flirting skills can land sex before ever showing his true colors. Okay, this might seem biased. Um, that wasn't the blog I was looking for. I was looking for this. Okay, here this was the blog I was looking for. So please forgive me. I'm gonna. I was reading the one. I just wrote two blogs um, that I haven't posted yet. One. Okay, Annika, I'm gonna get to your question. One of the challenges with meeting people online these days is that almost everyone is a stranger, which I said in the previous blog. Because of this, people often operate from a defense on the defensive which can create inherent friction during communication. Building rapport, is at, building rapport with someone is actually an art. And most humans have relatively poor skills in this department. This is especially true because romance is expected as the entry point to love. Think about it, romance is expected before you decide you like someone. Add to that, both men and women often have terrible flirting skills, which is why many internet-based interactions go nowhere, and worse, it can leave a bad taste in one's mouth when a brief or long exchange goes flat or a person deletes the thread. Dating is not for the faint at heart, and while developing thick skin might seem like the solution, loving oneself and having compassion for others through the process goes a long way to navigating this unusual way of connecting with others. Okay, thank you for listening, everyone. So let me share with you why I said this. It, it, many of you know about my past relationship with Marie. We actually spoke for six or seven times over the course of a year before we physically met. We had built rapport with one another, so when we actually met, it felt comfortable. It was like two friends meeting. I believe people should spend a couple times on the telephone building rapport with one another, building a little bit of familiarity, building a little bit of friendship over the telephone. So then when you physically meet, it's not completely cold and awkward. So I think a couple, excuse my burping. I think a couple telephone calls to build a little bit of rapport goes a long way into establishing um, some familiarity by the time you meet the person in real life, okay? So hopefully that answers your question. Thanks for listening to me read off of my blogs, um, but there's a lot I, can, I want to unpack with those blogs, so I'll be talking about that in the upcoming videos as well.